All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Valhelzia 3 with your boy, Super Turtle. Guys, I've been messing with something up top. I don't I don't love it. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't love it. So this is going to be where we put all of our storage eventually for, like, refined storage and stuff like that. Uh, all this stuff. I don't like it. I'm going to tear this out. Don't worry about it. I'm tearing this out. Um, this might, this outer part might stay, but I hate this inner part with a passion. It It doesn't look good. We're just going to rip it out. I'll do that later. But uh, today, guys, so from the title and thumbnail, you can tell that we're going to be doing something fun today. We're going to be um, making like a nuclear waste nuclear reactor area. Um, we're eventually going to be putting our, our fission reactor in this area over here. Um, but why we're building it uh, is because if we come down here, you can see that uh, we have our, our fissile fuel generators going here. Uh, these are gonna be very important. Uh, but these have, uh, these get rid of nuclear waste, which is bad for the environment if we let it go. So that's our objective today. We're gonna be building up a place to go ahead and process that. Uh, now we have two different ways to process the nuclear waste. So as you can see, we can turn it into this polium, which will then give us the polium pellets, which is very important. But we already have a lot of this. So the other thing we can do with polium is convert it into antimatter. And antimatter can be turned into antimatter pellets. And this will get us a lot of very cool things, like a teleportation unit here. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. But then this, gravitational modulating unit. This will basically give us creative flight. And I'm very excited to get into this. So this is going to be our first step into getting that. Uh, and what else can we do with it? Oh, you can turn it into plutonium, and that'll get us plutonium pellets, which make the SPS casing, which is very important for what we need later on. Fissile fragment. Oh, we can redo this into fissile fuel. That is very cool. Uh, so the cool thing is, guys, I let this run for quite a bit. We have a whole bunch of 64K drives, by the way. Let this run for a bit, and we have 576,000 uranium, which is amazing. So, yeah, we're also running out. And then I want to show you guys one more thing before we get started with today's episode, really. This room here. This is where we're going to be moving all of our uh, quarry things, our ore harvesters, to. Uh, and then we're going to be pumping them into this here. Uh, so they're going to be pumped in from the bottom. And then there's going to be an external uh, drive bay on the outside. And as you can see, these things have max upgrades with a void upgrade. So the cool thing is this won't overload our system anymore. I'm going to have to start exporting all of these items into here from our system. Uh, so I can get them out of the drives and into the drawers. But anyways, let's get this far departed. And we're going to build that uh, this cool thing of a bobber doohickey.
All right, guys. So, um, it's a little bit different than I had pictured it. Uh, it's very blocky, and I think if I were to just go through and swap all these out with stairs, it would make it look better, but I'll probably go ahead and do that later. But yeah, um, it's definitely, it's definitely something. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I hate it. Let me know if you guys love it down in the comment section. But uh, yeah, so this is where our nuclear base, all of our stuff is going to be going. Um, what am I grabbing over here? String. Very cool. So let's get to the main focus of today. Now, I did go ahead just off camera, and I had a whole bunch of campfires around here just to make it look really cool from down here. Uh, just looking up here, I've got a few uh, hay bales under there, but I think that looks so cool. Uh, none of the hay bales are over there, as you can see. I do need to get a whole bunch more wheat, but we can go ahead and take that on sometime else. It's already looking so cool. All right, so um, the main focus is what this thing does, right? So it's going to take our uh, nuclear waste, and it's going to process it. We're going to need to get some solar neutron activators. Okay. How many of these can we make? Guess we're going to make a whole bunch. All right. Didn't really plan on making that much, but... Uh, Giggity. All right, so these need to be in a good spot. Now, I think here is probably a good, like a good spot as ever. Something like that. We made way too many of these. Who am I kidding? I made way too many of these. You guys are just along for the ride. You guys are like, woohoo! Oh no, too many free shavakadu. What the heck is Turtle doing? That's what everyone says, right? What the heck? Why are you... Oh my gosh, you're so dumb. Yeah, probably. Oh shoot, these need to go up by one because... Power. Right? Maybe? We're going to move them up one. <gasps> oh, stupid Vade Miner! Oh my gosh, look at all of that progress just right down the drain. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to get to work fixing my air. All right, so time for the main I guess draw of today. Uh so we have the um ultimate pipes being pumped into there. Let's go ahead and switch our thing over to gases. I believe this is it. Yeah, so that's going to be inserting into there. Uh, we have it set for inserting on that side. So let's go ahead and we're going to need to get some more of that cable. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make some more. Cool thing is we can just do that. Boom. Okay, so I'm not going to use all four of these. The four, the actually the remaining three are for the um, the other fissile fuel areas. Um, cool thing is it's very easy for us to craft the quantum, the quantum peeps now. All right, so all of these are connected and what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna run, we're not gonna run these together, but we are gonna run these over here to see yeah, so this will be here, this will be here. Quantum entangler, just like so. Nuclear waste set. Uh, gases need to be exporting on all sides. Okay. Yeah, those are set to export. Nuclear waste, let me make sure that this is, this one down here is set, right?
Oh, man, I hope we don't have to run a cable all the way over here. That would kind of suck. Hmm. I guess we're not able to transfer nuclear waste wirelessly. Oh, wait, did I set that to the right one? Yep, sure did. Welp, time to run some cable. <laughs> oh, man, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will be back later. All right, so we got this big ugly cable ran up here, and these guys, maybe. What? Do they have to be from the bottom? Yep. Okay, I guess. Well, shoot. All right, so these are all now exporting polium here, which is great. It's amazing, you know, just exactly what we need. Okay. There's just polium in here. Perfect. Uh, I'm really nervous to break this, but we're going to do it. Yep, we did it. Yep, there was some radioactivity on that one. Oh, yes. Look at all that goodness. Should not have done that. Cool thing is it's a server. I have it on my server, so it'll eventually go away. Because I, I can just log off for a while, and that's good to go. Well, rest in pepperonis for that thing. Where am I going? Oh my gosh, that was so this is becoming very dumb. Oh my gosh, please stop. That uh special placing of the block, how it goes down has it's bad. It's real bad, guys. Oh my gosh, there's so much radiation. Good thing is we have the shielding, so we're okay, but... Oh my gosh. I really didn't want to do it like this. <gasps> Stop! That shouldn't even be possible in Minecraft. Well, I get we've turned into Chernobyl. All right, so look, we have Oh man. This has ended really badly. Uh, we have polium in here. Man. Yep, uses for polium. We can make the polium pellets. And we can also make the super critical phase shifter, which basically makes antimatter. Uh, so that whole system thing will be going here. We're going to be putting a fusion reactor down here. Probably going to bowl this out just a little bit and then have some kind of pathways going into it. Uh, it's going to look really, really super duper cool. Oh, man. But, yep, we have officially made our Minecraft world Chernobyl yet again. Oh, the joys. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of polium being made up. Unfortunately, nothing more is going to get made up for a little bit here because it is nighttime. Uh, so we will go ahead and start to uh, get the polium popped up into these guys. Just for now, we can go ahead and fix these. Or kind of not really fix them, but kind of change them later on. So we're going to go ahead and break this here because this is where our power cables are going to run up. Um, we probably only need to break the corners, or just like one of the corners. Yeah, because that should feed those, that should feed these. We can also, <gasps> oh, we get to make it look cool. We can do this as well, then we can put the fluid pipes in here. Oh, yes, these go give these water. 
All right, let's switch over to hover for the jetpack. Perfection. All right, so let's take these guys down a notch. Uh, and then we'll take these guys down a notch. And so, bam. There we go. Turtle power. Yeah, turtle power. Power is gotten. Bam. Fluid is gotten. Once we do this. There we go. Ba oh, we forgot the dust. Okay, so the dust ought to come from the top. Ah, uh, that kind of makes it a little lame. Unless we... Well, screw it. Well, these are universal cables. So a little different. Yeah, so we'll go like that. That's how we'll put it in there. And the items will come from the middle. We'll pump the, flu the, the items from there. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up here. Okay, so we're going to have a crusher here that we'll be, well, we'll be exporting fluoride into to go ahead and smoosh up. All right, and then that will be taken, uh, out of the back. Oh, shoot. Out of the back here. We will eject it. Out the back. Into here. This will be known as... Okay, so we got to delete that guy. This will be known as... Um, fluorite dust, right? Where did that go? That's not how you... Okay. FLU. Fluoride dust. bam a lamb. All right. And so we're going to accept items in on the right. Perfect. All right. Back over at Chernobyl here. We're going to... Wow, I do not want to talk about that. It's a mechanical pipe. This one is a logistical transporter. There we go. <gasps> yes, that works. Perfect. All right, check that out, ladies and gentlemen. We now have our polyam pellets automated. We are going to have to find a way to get uh, the items. Uh, it's probably not going to look that pretty anymore, unfortunately, because we do need to get the spent nuclear waste out of here. Uh, we are going to be putting that somewhere in this area. Uh, probably just going to put it here. We're going to have all the, the waste dumps because they slowly, um, I guess, dissipate the nuclear waste but uh yep we are um we made chernobyl <laughs> anyways guys i hope you all had a great time watching today i sure did have one good play time i'm um, something i will see you all in the next video take care peace out that is a lot of uranium oh, not uranium that's a lot of things radiation i'll see y'all later peace out